He's one of the city's latest carjacking victims. Police eventually found the car, but before he was able to get his stolen vehicle back, he had to pay up. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar live in the control room with one man's unfortunate luck. Charlie. Rob, good evening. That man says he is a double victim of sorts. First, he got his car stolen. Then he was forced to pay a towing company to get his own stolen car back from the towing yard. It don't make sense. Well, I got to pay for it. We caught up with this man who asked not to be identified at a tow yard in Melrose Park, shelling out his own cash to get his stolen Range Rover back. That's his car hooked up to a tow truck at the height of Tuesday's rush hour. Traffic came to a stop as this stolen white Range Rover was recovered on the Eisenhower near First Avenue. It was towed all the way back to this lot. It was 240. 240. Yeah. To get your own car back that got stolen. Right, 240. Do you feel that you've been the victim not only once by getting your car stolen and then twice by now having to pay to get your own car back? Yep. Who would like to uh, get their car taken? Then they got to come out their pocket. This picture shows police taking down at least one of the suspected carjackers. In all, four men were eventually charged with criminal trespass to a motor vehicle. You crazy as if you think we pulled up. No, I don't never do that. I ain't gonna never do it like that. After their release, they took to Facebook Live to talk about the crime they're accused of. The alleged joyride started by taking the already running SUV from a gas station at 43rd and Wentworth. The stolen car finally made it off the lot. The inside trashed, but no major damage. Riding off tonight with its rightful owner, who's out 240 bucks. And Bellwood Police was the lead on this case. The chief telling me tonight, calling it unfortunate that victims have to pay towing fees associated with certain instances. But in this case, that car needed to be moved off the road, and the Bellwood Police Department doesn't store cars at their department instead using those towing companies. Live tonight in the control room, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News, Robin Erica. Yeah, what a tough couple of days. Charlie, thank you.